So we're here today in Coto de Casa, the community, and specifically the uh, Stonehenge neighborhood. And we're gonna take a look at some of the homes today. There's nothing for sale here, so there's nothing I can show you. I can show you some past sales, but if you're interested in Stonehenge, you wanna come on this tour with us because you're gonna get a good idea of what the neighborhood looks like and if you wanna consider this neighborhood for your next home. Now this white home we're looking at now here is called the Cambridge floor plan and it has 2387 square feet. It's a two, four bedroom, two and a half bath. A lot of the uh, streets in the community are single loaded, which makes them really nice. That means there's only homes on one side of the street. And um, there's three other floor plans. The Lexington with 2,035 square feet, which is a three bedroom, two and a bath. Two bath. The Nottingham, which is a 2,133 square feet of four bedroom, two and a half bath and the Hartford, which is the largest in the community at 2,633 square feet, and it's a five bedroom, three bath. Now these homes were built starting back in 1988 by Paysetter, and they finished the development in 1992. Many of the homes in the uh, neighborhood have little views because it's slightly elevated, like in a tiered um, street pattern where each subsequent level has um, has a nice little view. The higher, higher streets are quieter away from this street that we're seeing right here called Vista del Verde. There's some traffic on the street, road noise. Um, so the uh, street uh, houses we see right here uh, that um, back to Vista del Verde do have some road noise and subsequently sell at a little bit lower price. Uh, you definitely want to talk to me about um, location because location dictates the price. The higher streets obviously will sell for more. These are all the sales that have taken place in Cota de Casa in the last six months. We're going to zoom in on the neighborhood of Stonehenge, which is right here. And there's been three sales. These are all comparables, comparable sales that an appraiser would use to value the next sale that happens in the neighborhood. There's been two larger homes, one for a million six hundred and sixty and another one for a million six ninety nine, which is a five bedroom. The six hundred and sixty, a uh, million six hundred and sixty is a four bedroom four bath. What's surprising about these comparables is this one right here. It's a three bedroom, three bath for a million five hundred and eighty thousand. Normally a house of this size would sell for a million two hundred thousand with no upgrades. But let's go look at you know why this one sold so much higher. Let's look at the upgrades that they have. Here's photos of the house. Very nice uh, curb appeal, well kept. It's got some nice upgrades, but the pool really adds a lot of value. Now, if you're not looking for a pool, you can expect to pay at least I I would say a hundred thousand less. So we're here on Northampton, one of the single loaded streets. It's trash day. Everyone's got their trash cans out. You can see it's really easy to put your trash cans out. You know, short little trip from either the side of the house to the garage. You can see there's a lot of pride of ownership in the neighborhood. Uh, none of the homes are in bad condition. When some of the homeowners do construction, they will have a porta potty out front, as we will see right here, doing some construction. But nevertheless, there's not a lot of trash or anything left outside. Uh, it's, this is a very affluent neighborhood. And when you spend time there, you'll find that the neighbors have a lot of respect for each other. Coming up on the main entrance of Stonehenge, this uh, entrance is not the only way in, however. You can turn on St. Andrews and then left on Cypress, right next to Cypress Point Park and also get in kind of on the side of the neighborhood of Stonehenge. Uh, Stonehenge actually is a really nice community, but, but Summerfield is even nicer. Homes are larger uh, and more exclusive, only 44 homes in Summerfield, while uh, Stonehenge has uh, 123 homes. I'd like to end our video tour up today by showing you a great resource so you can compare uh, neighborhoods within the community of Coto de Casa. These are all the uh, neighborhoods in color in uh, 
in Coda de Casa. And we're going to zoom in right now on Stonehenge, which is right here. And you can actually click around and get all the details on the community. You just click on it and it gives you all the details, the number of homes, the floor plans, the price ranges as of a certain date when they were built. So uh, on any of the uh, neighborhoods, you could click on it and get all the details. Hillsboro, Summerfield, Stonefield Estates, and then you could even see what hole is what golf hole is along the um, neighborhood that you're looking at. So this is the master's collection and we can see it borders the north course number two and the north course number three. So just another great resource for you available for free on grantlowell.com. Now, if you received any value out of watching my video today, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And then for our latest updates, tap the bell icon. Thanks very much, and we'll see you on the next tour.